In this video, we're going to draw dot and cross diagram for four simple covalent molecules. They are water, ammonia, methane, and carbon dioxide. Let's start with water, which is H2O. Hydrogen has one electron, and since that one electron is in shell number one, it will need one more electron to achieve full valence shell like helium. Keep in mind that the first shell can only hold maximum of two electrons. That's why hydrogen only needs one more electron. Oxygen, on the other hand, has six valence electrons. Therefore, it needs two more electrons in order to achieve octet. Since oxygen needs more electrons than hydrogen, we're going to place oxygen in the center and surround it with hydrogens. Oxygen and hydrogen will share one electron each. That took care of the one electron that hydrogen has. As for oxygen, it has used up two out of the six valence electrons. We're going to add the remaining four on the oxygen like this. And with that, we're done drawing the cross and dot diagram for H2O. Both hydrogens have two electrons to fill out its valence shell. And oxygen, on the other hand, has a total of eight electrons now. So its valence shell is now full and that makes oxygen happy. Let's work on ammonia next. Nitrogen has five valence electrons and it's going to need three more in order to achieve octet. Hydrogen has one and needs one more electron. Since nitrogen needs more electrons, we're going to place it in the center and surround it with three hydrogens. Each of the atom is going to share one electron to make a single bond between nitrogen and hydrogen. So hydrogen have already used up the one electron that it has. Nitrogen has used up three out of the five valence electrons. So the remaining two, we're going to draw it out like this. With that, we're done drawing the dot and cross diagram for NH3 since N is now octet and H also has full valence shell. Next is CH4 methane. C has four valence electrons and needs four more electrons to achieve octet. Hydrogen needs one more. So we're going to place carbon in the center, surround it with four hydrogens. Each atom, we're going to share one electron to form a bond. So one comes from hydrogen, one comes from carbon. And since hydrogen only has one valence electron, we've used up the electron for hydrogen. And carbon only has four, and we've also used up the four electrons for carbon. So with that, we're done drawing the dot and cross diagram. Because hydrogen already has its full valence shell, and so is carbon. Carbon has a total of eight and is octet and happy. Last but not least, carbon dioxide, CO2. Carbon has four, needs four more valence electrons to become octet. Oxygen has six and needs two more to become octet. Since carbon needs more electron, we're going to place it in the center, surround it with oxygen. Since oxygen needs two electrons to become octet, and it's only connected to one atom, which is carbon, we're going to make it share two electrons in the center with carbon. So since it shares two electrons, carbon will also share two electrons. And we do the same thing for the other oxygen. It shares two electrons, carbon shares two electrons, now all the four valence electrons of carbon are already used up. And carbon is already octet. If you look at it, it has eight electrons in total now. Now as for the oxygen, we have used up two out of the six valence electrons. So we're going to place the remaining four electrons on oxygen like this. With that, both oxygens are now octet. Carbon and oxygen both share four electrons, making double bond between them. With that, we're done drawing the dot and cross diagram for CO2. Here are the four dot and cross diagrams we have drawn for water, ammonia, methane, and carbon dioxide. Here are two more videos that might interest you. Thanks for watching all the way till the end. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like and share it with someone. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss future videos. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you.